Hank on Hank, this is my favorite quote in the movie and in all of it. I love this. It's like a poem. Hank is candid. Hank is indiscreet. Hank is decisive. Hank acts too quickly. You're qualified to be the next Fed chairman. I mean, that's great. Now, you're not going to talk to me about Professor Summers or Vice Chairman Yellen. I understand that. But what are the characteristics we need in a Fed chairman is they unwind their balance sheet and we confront those possible instabilities. Well, the, the next phase will be an important phase because there's going to be much more of an emphasis on return on assets, productivity, real growth, and we are going to have to, uh, as Chairman Ben Bernanke has said, we're going to have to move mm -hmm. from these you know, extraordinarily low interest rates and get back to, to, to real markets. Do you have a confidence, Mr. Secretary, that we will do that without instabilities and shocks? Well, first of all, there's bound to be volatility. There's no perfect solution. When you have a big, ugly, messy problem, there's never going to be a perfect, elegant solution. And so I am, mm -hmm. uh, I believe that Ben Bernanke has been a hero. I think to be where we are today, where you've it had growth of you know two percent since late 2009, right. while we've been going undergoing this necessary and massive deleveraging of consumers, right. that's important. So there's bound to be some volatility. But the next Fed chairman, again, which is a huge decision, a very important decision for President Obama, the, the key qualities are first of all, you know, fierce. You right. know, independence, great abilities, and to be someone who you is, want to see a return to that independence of McChesney Martin and the others. Of well, 51. And, and, and Ben Bernanke. I mean, Ben okay. Bernanke is, but and then someone who's a good communicator right. and can build okay. consensus. I want to. Add, you're a kid out of Chicago. You went to Dartmouth. You played basic football. You were not the brightest kid in the class. You've said that. Vladimir Putin took a shot at the United States today in his op-ed in the New York Times. He questioned American exceptionalism. How do you define American exceptionalism, and how can we keep it? Well, this is a very special country, and it's a country that's based upon innovation, entrepreneurship, and the key thing is social mobility. The fact that everyone feels in this country they've got a chance mm -hmm. to succeed. And so I think the most important thing we have to do to keep this spirit of American exceptionalism is fix our economy so that we're growing at a level so we can sustain our long-term prosperity, create mm -hmm. jobs, and narrow the gap, the wide, this widening income gap. Because I think if there's anything that's demoralizing, it's to have the gap get wider and wider. And so to do that, I think we're going to need some bipartisan compromise in Washington mm -hmm. and get some, some policies right. that are really pro-growth policies, immigration reform, a, a, a different tax system, et cetera. Well, we've got to get to those topics. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much. Yes. The movie is Hank. It's up for your Oscar consideration, Trish. Uh, it, is, it is a jewel.